Hello there everyone, uh, this is going to be a really quick video. Uh, this is how to install unsupported versions of Minecraft. So if you go here, try to add a new installation and you have, uh, for instance, all everything like enabled, like even the old alphas, um, but some versions are unsupported. So if we get up here, you know, sometimes the betas here, this is the old beta. Sometimes the pre, the pre four or pre three aren't properly supported. Uh, these two I've installed already and as you can see a lot of the snapshots for these releases aren't even allowed again this one I installed I'm going to be showing you how to install this one right now but it works for pretty much anything that's unsupported by the default Minecraft launcher and as you can see as you, as we get up here start seeing the actual snapshots um, enabled so and if you don't have any of this enabled really quick and you know you want one of those uh, the best thing is just to have all three of these uh, checked. So stable, snapshots, and historical. Um, if you want the alpha and beta, or some of the alpha and beta. Anyways, let's get into the actual um, tutorial here. So this is the Minecraft wiki. You go here and you can search for whichever version you want. 12w49a is one of the unsupported versions. And it's a snapshot for this. And then as you can see right here, we have a download um, section on the Minecraft wiki. And it comes with a client's JSON and a server uh, executable. We want to get the client and the JSON. Uh, we don't want to get any of this, just this here. And right here, um, if I adjust the screen here, there we go. Right here, we'll get a little warning when we download it. Uh, at least on Chrome, it'll be in this corner. And it'll say keep or discard. We're gonna keep it. And you'll see it's a Minecraft jar. We can go ahead and click on this and just say show in folder here. And here we are. So Minecraft jar. What we wanna do is we want to uh, basically move this to the desktop. So if I do this and this, we can move this directly to the desktop right here. And there we go. And then what we wanna do is we wanna create a new folder uh, right here and we wanna rename it um, actual version. So what we do is we know the version name is 12w49a. So we can go over here, rename 12w49a. Okay, there we go. Then we can open this up and we can drag the jar file into here. There we go. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a versions folder. All right. So if we go back to the internet here, we also have next to client, the JSON. And as you can see, this is just a script online. So what you want to do with this is you'll see we have pre 1.6. This isn't what we want to change, but what we want to do is we're going to copy all of this. Uh, for Windows, it's Control C. On Mac, I believe it's Command C. Then what we want to do is get a note editing software. So for me, that's going to be Notepad. And we're going to create a new file and we're just going to paste it. And here is everything in this file here. And this is a, it's supposed to be a JSON file. So what we do is we delete where it says in ID, uh, we want to change that to be matching with the file name. And so that's 12w49a. So if we go over here, we can go 12w49a. Okay. And so everything else we can leave. We don't want to change anything else. But uh, see over here, the ID has changed already. Like if we change that, you know, all sorts of different stuff. But we want this top ID here to be the same as this, this ID. Okay, the assets we can, we don't, I don't think is required, but we'll find out. So what we're gonna do is go save as, and we wanna save it as a um, JSON file. So we're gonna rename this 12w49a and go to all types and we're gonna find JSON. So there we go, it's a JSON file and we're going to save. Okay, so that was in our correct file, right? So we can minimize out of here, minimize out of here. And as you can see, we have this file here. 
Uh, currently, it's not showing its adjacent. So what we got to do is, uh, for me, I got to rename it. There we go. I believe those are lowercase. There we go. So there's an editable JSON. As long as it's a JSON, we're good. And then this one, we're going to again rename to 12W49A. Okay. And so now we have everything under the same exact name. Okay. We can close out of this. We can close out of this. So now we have our file here. Uh, let's get rid of this. I have so many files on my computer. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to your .minecraft folder. So there's a lot of ways to get there, um, but I have a little shortcut here. And in this file, we have uh, basically our directories. I'm going to go to a separate directory here. I'm going to go to this directory. It has all these different things. And as you can see, there isn't a versions thing. So you want to go to your default directory, right? which for me is the dot minecraft directory that should be the same for you. And down at the bottom here, you're going to find versions and here's all the versions I've installed or started. But for us, we have a 12 W 49 a version that we want to install and here it is. And so I'm going to delete this one. Uh, so delete it. So that way, you know, we got the right one and it's going to work. So there we go. I'm going to close out of this just to show you guys that it's not going to work if we try to launch it. So we go here and we go to our 12W49A. As you can see, we get a error because we are missing the uh, actual uh, file. So what we can do now is we can go to our Minecraft folder once again. And what we can do is we can go again to our versions and then we can go ahead and drag our uh, 12 w 49 new file into here. It'll, it'll drop in here as long as it's in this overall versions folder and then everything is named the same. It should work. So if we close out of this, open our Minecraft launcher and then play this once again. As you can see, we actually have the 12W49A version loaded up and ready to go in Minecraft. So yeah, this is a really cool way to do it. And the reason I'm making this is because I've had one request uh, just to show me show how, and I figured a lot of you guys probably want to follow along in my unobtained series, or maybe try a few things out for yourself. So this is how you do it. This will also work for the beta versions. Um, for instance, if you go to the Minecraft wiki here, um, not this area, but if you search up any version, like um, for instance, beta one, beta 1.9 pre-release, right? We got all the pre-releases here and you can go to say pre-release five and you have this download here and you can do everything you want with it, the same exact method. The only thing you would change is uh, if we open this JSON here, we have this this lower ID, this one right here. You want to copy this ID and put it in where this ID is. That's the only thing you've got to do to make sure this will work. And it should show up under this name. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing as that will help out to my channel. Uh, quite a lot and i hope you guys have fun messing with some weird versions anyways see you in the next one goodbye